Stars galore with an exclusive preview of the new movie, Happy Feet 2. We go to Hollywood and talk with one of the Penguin voices, the incomparable Robin Williams. And visit with other stars, Hank Azaria and Elijah Wood. Plus, what are the holiday dangers to your pet? If you think poinsettias are harmful to your dog or cat, think again. And it's all happening at the zoo. Next on Pet Pals TV. It's time for Pet Pals, and this time on the road from the Indianapolis Zoo, the Oceans Building. And why are we here, Paul? Because this is all about happy feet. Now, we're missing a couple of paws because Louie can't come to the zoo. Oh, I know, mm. but we have to pause for Robin Williams. Oh, my gosh. He's done a lot of these movies yes. where he's the wacky voice that you don't see. Yes, and but he's doing it again. She gets to see him. <laughs> knows all the stars. Robin is a wonderful man, and this time he talks about being a penguin. Hola, amigos! Hey, Ramon! 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 You came! Of course we came. We heard the news. Where's Ramon? He is no longer with us. He's in a better place. Next to Carmen! <laughs> Carmen! Carmen! No, no, wait! I wouldn't want you to get cold feet, my darling. I am not your darling. As a performer, you don't just do stand-up, you don't just do comedy, you don't just do drama, you don't just do voiceover, you do everything. As much as I can, it's nice to have, as Bertolt Brecht said, passports for a lot of different countries, but the idea of you can do one and if the other, if there's nothing coming along, I go out and do stand-up if there's no movie work or anything, you wait for the right movie and you work with interesting people, then it's fun. Hey, 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 get your filthy flippers off me! Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Detail. Yeah, it's detail on all these things. And krill, I think the idea of, you know, millions of krill. I and mean, just saying millions of krill. Millions of krill. I've never yeah. seen krill star in a movie before. This and movie. it's probably the only time. I'm probably the only time. Plankton, the musical. So, you want some music? Nope. Let's have some music. Oh, wake me up hmm? before you go, go, because I'm not uh, planning uh. on going solo. Oh, wake me up before you go, go. Oh, Can you keep I'm it down? Just be quiet! Speaking of, of detail, the detail of your life is you got married again. I did, actually. I just came back from Paris. Oh, it's wonderful. Oh, that's... Pretty great. Just to be in Paris for eight days. Wow. That's, it's, I'm just stunned. I come back like, how are you? Quoi? <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Thanks. Oh, I remember. We go way back. I've got, I'm going to have to dig up some old video of you and me. <laughs> With Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh dear, don't go that far back. Oh, well, and I had long More... hair and all that. And, oh my uh, God. Uh, okay, then we can just say, for Mrs. Doubtfire, who's not here, but I'm being English channeled through Robin Williams, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And for our Jewish friends, Happy Hanukkah, may the bush burn brightly and the menorah be always lit. Here at Temple in the Round, I'm Rabbi Shecky Flakeman. <laughs> I've got a circumcised feeling. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Never. So if you can sum up, this is the big sum up here, for your life about how things are going. Things are going great. It's, uh, as I say, it's, it's great to be here and now. It's wonderful. Come on, son. It's just one big old foot after the other. No one will laugh at you, I promise. Come on. On my feet. I don't care what the people say. Yeah. Don't Look at the hang of it. All you gotta do is feel the beat. Come on, son. Let's shake this world. 
Okay, now that's fun stuff. And now poor Bruce Elkins from the Indianapolis Zoo. You've got to follow Robin Williams. Are you up to it? Uh, is anybody ever up to it? <laughs> He's the curator of uh, the oceans area here at the zoo for a long time. You've been out here for uh, quite a while. I've been here since the zoo has. So. Be because they have, him, uh, they have him as actually part of the exhibit. So you're in there with the, <laughs> with the penguins. There's been more than once that I've been out there with them. You know, you probably know these guys and gals as well as anyone else. But the ones that we see in person aren't quite like the ones that we see in the movie. So no, I haven't seen any dancing. No, these no dancing. They do uh, very well at a little rock hopping, but um, <laughs> no, you won't see any happy feet in here, I'm afraid. Are they cute? Are they just mysterious? They look like they're dressed for dinner? What is it about penguins? Well, one, that... they're absolutely fascinating. Just the fact that they have to deal with the environment that they live in. That right. The, the water temperature's cold. The air temperatures are cold. They have to breed in a very compact manner, uh, time-wise, because, well, the Summer season's just not very long for them. <laughs> Young love goes by so yeah. quickly. And then they have to be on shore the whole time that they're breeding and not eating, because they only eat at sea. I like to say that, that the penguins have real attitudes. The rock hoppers, which are the smallest ones behind us here, um, are lord and master over a two-foot square. Where they build their nest, don't let anything get in the way. <laughs> uh, the kings are just kind of standoffish. The guys with the yellow heads and the gentoos are just curious about everything going on around them. And you can see it all at the zoo, as always. You guys will uh, be back bigger and better throughout the uh, coming months, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. We're really looking forward to a successful breeding season this year. Bruce Elkins from the Indianapolis Zoo on Pet Pals. Are you on Facebook? Find us and like our PetPalsTV.com fan page. First, we want you to meet Buffy. She got lost and was taken to Indianapolis Animal Care and Control last week. But the good folks at retail rescued her, then found out that she had a microchip. Buffy is now reunited with her family. Susie shared these photos of a dog that helps brighten a father's life. She says dad just loved the visit from Levi, a pet therapy dog who went to an Indianapolis hospital. Sometimes, a friend is the best medicine. Laura Neal of Beach Grove wants you to meet Ernie, a little chihuahua with a big heart. Laura says Ernie enjoys shopping and making strange noises that sound a little bit like singing. I do that too. Finally, Darlene Scott wants you to meet her three cats. Boots, who's a calico mix, Tigger, who's an orange tabby, and Popeye. Darlene says her kitties are her heaven on earth. Thanks for sharing the photos, Darlene. You can make your pet the star. Just go to our Facebook wall or share the photos directly on PetPalsTV.com. If your pets could talk, they'd beg you to take them to the Great Indie Pet Expo. It's like a mall just for your pets. You'll find the newest products and services, free health screenings, and free contests. Check out the Petco Adoption Center, and don't miss the Holistic Select Ultimate Air Dogs and Indiana Wild performing daily, or the Purina Incredible Dog Team performing on Saturday. It's the Great Indie Pet Expo, November 12th and 13th at the Indiana State Fairgrounds. Details at greatindiepetexpo.com. It's still hard to believe Oliver just ran away. Why take the chance? Invisible Fence brand keeps tails wagging safely in the yard and off the streets. Closed captioning for Pet Pals TV brought to you by Relay Indiana and in track featuring the caption telephone phone service. Because of my hearing loss, I avoided answering the phone. My CapTel phone allows me to read what the other person is saying. If you or someone you love suffers from hearing loss, please look into getting a CapTel phone. It's easy. See what you're hearing. The Milano Inn, proudly serving Indianapolis since 1934. Thank you for making our summertime fundraiser, Puppies, Pasta, and Bocce, a smashing success. Hi, I'm Gina Lagrada, owner of the Milano Inn. You helped us raise thousands of dollars for local area animal shelters and we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Now we invite you inside to the finest Italian restaurant in Indianapolis. And we'll see you back on the patio with your puppies this spring. Rupert for governor. Is this for real? Yes. Oh, yes, Patty. Why? You know, <laughs> I've been for 20 years showing how we're working here in Indianapolis with some of our problems coming out of the correctional facilities, mm -hmm. being that small business owner, being that person that's ran the nonprofit. I would love to show how we can do that for the state. Okay, now we were talking before we went on here, 
you realize that as a survivor, as a public figure, as a reality star right, in the right. past, everybody loved you. You go into politics, not everybody's going to love you. Well, you know, I know, and I know That's that. That's okay. And I've talked with my wife and my daughter and my mother about, you know, once you pick a side, uh -huh. people are going to then have something to strike out at you for. But I love being able to show for 20 years who I've been for 47 years, who I am, and hopefully can show that for another four And your years. background will be out there. I mean, everybody will know everything about you. This isn't a, this isn't a TV show where it's all fun and games uh, You anymore. know, just like I've told a couple of the production companies that have called us up and talked to us about trying to make the Rupert for Governor reality show. We're not doing that. This Running is not a publicity for governor stunt. is no. not reality TV. Running okay. for governor is my real world and what I really want to show. How we can work together, create the empowerment programs, help business across the board, lessen our government in our world, and have everybody be a little better off in Indiana. A big thing in, in all the politics are always saying jobs. What are you going to do about jobs in Indiana? You know, being able to show a better educated workforce mm -hmm making it easier for people to create and do business in Indiana, not putting so many roadblocks up, making it easier for people to get those jobs. All right. And we visited with you at home when yeah. you were not running yep, for governor. Yep, yep. And we saw you with your pets, your yeah. unusual pets that you take responsibility for. So oh, that yes. means they're your pets. Oh, yes. You've still got all of your pets? Oh, gosh, yes. We love them. <laughs> we love them, our babies, you know. And being able to show when you can take care of yourself and then share your world with right. others. Okay, it's, 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 it's all a good thing. Okay, and is your, your slogan, your logo is, it's, 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 it's our, our time. time. It's our time. Arr. It is our time. It's been more than five years since Rupert stole our hearts and sparked our imagination on the TV show Survivor. He quickly became one of the most popular characters to ever play on the show. His honest Hoosier charm and quirky pirate facade endeared him to fans worldwide. It's been wonderful being able to show that even before Survivor, I had a very good life. I had a wonderful wife and like you say, a beautiful family. But after Survivor, it kind of made it better. It gave us a national platform to show what we're doing with Rupert's Kids. And you gotta check it out, rupertskids.org. If you don't know about it out there, that's what we're doing here in Indianapolis is helping change our community one kid at a time. His offices on the northeast side of town are also the headquarters for his greatest passion, helping young people. And he takes his mentoring job of running the Rupert's Kids organization very seriously. Kevin is uh, right now in the, uh, the process of getting himself out of the system and is being able to show what you're supposed to do. You tell them a little what you're doing. I teach them a lot of things. Well, try to teach them a lot of things. Hard work ethics, uh, communication skills, presentability. I'm not quite sure if that's a word, but to present themselves well when they step out into the world. Maybe the reason Rupert did so well on Survivor is because he's always loved the jungle atmosphere. Just look at this sunroom. His wife, Laura, and daughter, Rhea, share in his love of the exotic and unusual. For all of those guys out there that uh, are wanting to get reptiles but haven't got their wife yet, you might want to have the reptiles before the girlfriend because uh, that way they all grow up. We all bond together. Yeah. Uh, now, this right here is uh, our peach throat monitor. We have Bubba, our blue tongue skink. This guy, my wife and I got on our honeymoon 12 years ago. And this is Dixie, our little miniature dachshund. And my daughter, Rhea, and my wife, Laura, and I uh, just kind of hanging out with some of our little babies. But we like showing the reptiles out there are not as scary as some people think. They're very sweet, very gentle, very calm animals. And we try and show our, our young men and women out there that these guys have a place in this world too. And you really don't have to be afraid of the reptiles. They're very sweet little animals. Finally, time to say goodbye to this fantastic family and their curious critter collection. A picture is worth a thousand words. I get a lot of questions about what to do when your animal is injured or killed. 
Obviously, if your animal's injured, contact your veterinarian immediately. If your animal is injured or killed, you may think a lawsuit might be necessary down the road, and there are a couple of things that you need to do as soon as you possibly can. Take pictures of the animal in the exact spot and position in which the animal was injured or killed. Pictures may be very helpful and valuable. If you don't have a camera and time permits, draw a sketch of the scene of the incident. Number two, get names, addresses, and telephone numbers of any witnesses to the incident. Number three, if time permits, obtain statements from witnesses, including the person who injured or killed your animal companion. Number four, take the animal to a veterinarian for a detailed examination to establish the cause of death. It's very important if you choose to file a lawsuit, even if you think the cause of death is obvious. Some states require an autopsy in order to bring a successful lawsuit. If you have any other questions, contact me at PetPalsTV.com. I'm Gary Miller. Be a responsible pet owner. This Humane Society of Johnson County segment on Pet Pals TV is made possible by Dreyer Reinbold Subaru. If I stop smiling, call 911. Oh, I could do long in the desert sun. Oh, please roll me over. Check me for life, but don't bury me. Dryer and Reinbold Subaru of Greenwood on US 31 South and at DryerReinboldSubaru.com. She doesn't belong to me, she belongs with me. She's my friend, my family, my confidant, and I want to do everything I can to return the favor. That's why I choose Holistic Select Cat Food. The wholesome, natural ingredients and perfectly balanced nutrition she deserves. Holistic Select, pet food for the pet wise parent. To learn more about Holistic Select recipes for cats and dogs, and to find Holistic Select at a pet specialty retailer near you, visit HolisticSelect.com. Charlie always waited faithfully for you, but now that he's lost, it's you waiting for him. Put your mind at ease. Invisible Fence brand keeps tails wagging safely in the yard and off the streets. Scout and Zoe's want to give you a treat every week. Sign up for the Pet Pals TV Weekly Dish. The newsletter serves up pet-friendly events, video pics, and local adoptable pets. Sign up as a member of PetPalsTV.com to get the Weekly Dish. Sponsored by Scout and Zoe's Allergy-Free Pet Shoes. Fetch some today at ScoutAndZoe's.com. The law firm of Miller Meyer LLP is proud to sponsor the Humane Society of Indianapolis, on Pet Pals TV. We encourage responsible pet ownership. Enjoy the show with Dina and me. Look at that face. That's the face of a putty cat named Neville. Neville's a special needs kitty here at Indy Humane. He's looking for a good home. Maybe your home over the holidays. And here's John Alshire, who has a good home. <laughs> <laughs> with cats. Well, with cats yes. and dogs here. CEO here at Indy Humane. And where are we right now? What are we doing? Hey, Patty, we are in the retail part of Indy Humane because people can buy really cool toys and things for their pets. <laughs> things that make noise, things that are cute, things that are like food, food bowls. And the good part about shopping here, when they shop, they support our mission. So that helps us serve kittens like Indeed. nibbles. It, like, like nibble. Like nibble. Now, and also, this is, I hate to say it, but less money than if you buy retail, is that correct? Yeah, we're pretty competitive. Okay. Yes, yes. I heard and even some items it might be less. Yeah, yeah, they can. And we have some really cool stuff that you won't find anywhere else, too. Mm -hmm. So they can come here, shop anytime they want. Holidays are coming up. They right. can buy gift certificates. They can buy stuff for their pets when uh, they come and adopt. Uh -huh. They can buy really cool things to take home with their pets completely 
ready to go. Okay, and I would imagine if you need some advice, you know, is this better or this better for my pet? Oh. You've got you've got the people here who can tell you oh, what have, you we need. We have the best people. We have the best pets. We have the best staff, and they can advise you to whatever you need about your pet's needs and what would be the best toy, the best food item. Um, the best accompaniment to take your special, take home to your special pet. Okay, well, John, you're just the best. That, well, so are you. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Here at Indy Humane, come see Neville. He needs a good home. We'll be right back after this. Yes. We are so excited to interview, talk to Dr. Marty Becker, who is a leading vet across the country, been on Dr. Oz and several other programs. Thank you so much. Look at the dog. Whose dog is this? Oh, this is a rescue. She's an American pit bull, uh -huh. bulldog cross. She was adopted from a shelter, oh. but she's seven years old. Her name is Lola, and she's enjoying this great <laughs> massage here <laughs> but, uh, oh, her by name Silver was Lola. Tills Massager. <laughs> yes, dogs love the massage. Okay, we want to talk to you about something that is very, very uh, important with the holiday season coming up. You're going to tell us that chocolate and turkey bones are not the worst thing that can happen to your pet over the holiday season. There's other things to look out for. Could you elaborate a little bit? I'll, I'll tell you the things. You think about chocolate, it takes three ounces of milk chocolate for a 10 pound dog to cause problems. So people freak out and the dog eats a single piece of chocolate, it's not much of a risk. Right. Poinsettia is absolutely no risk at all. Really, now I'll that I didn't risk know. You. Really, poinsettia, now, poinsettia what, is no risk at all? Zero risk, but what is a risk as far as the plants are lilies. As veterinarians, we say lilies are lethal, oh, okay. and so cats and dogs love the smell and the texture of those leaves, and they'll just have to chew just a little bit to cause a problem. I'll tell you two other big problems. One is uh, elderly family members come and they have prescriptions that they'll leave on the a bathroom counter or on a nightstand, yeah. and dogs will crack that open and consume the contents. Second most common reason people call animal poison control is because of the accidental ingestion of human prescriptions. Oh and the number one thing I worry about as far as a food thing is gum or candy sweetened with xylitol. Uh, a dog like this is a 60 pound dog. One or two sticks of sugar-free gum can actually take this dog down and even kill it. So you gotta be really careful with that gum that's in your purse or on the counter. I had no idea. I did not know about the gum or the lilies. Thank you very much. And I try to keep up on this. I have four cats and a big dog and I try to make sure that they get all the right things. Didn't know about the poinsettias either. What would you suggest now? I see you have this dog is loving this massage. What's a good thing to buy your dog or your cat for a uh, holiday present? Quickly, if you well, will. if you have an elderly pet, you want to accommodate them. So ramps or stairs to help it easier to get up on the bed or okay. get into a, a couch or a vehicle is really good. Uh, this bed has memory foam, and there's heated orthopedic beds that are really good for elderly right. pets. Again, the silver tail massager. There's an infrared heated massager you can use on on sore joints or muscles, and it's also a really good bonding exercise. Aww. And you can't go wrong with toys <laughs> or treats. And I like to actually get them some multiple toys, and you can give them one every few days during the holidays okay. or those treats just make sure you put them in a closet right. and bring it out on holiday morning right and the massage and the treats give it with love and that makes it all good thank you so much dr marty i learned uh, i learned things see you can't teach an old dog new tricks thank you very much thank you my friend rebecca this is one of the big fundraisers every year it's time for the tails the the tips the what how does this work that is tinsel and tails tinsel all, and tails almost you almost tinsel and tails holiday petacular to be exact but they'll take your tips that's right <laughs> and uh, this is our biggest fundraiser of the year actually it is going to be held on thursday november the 17th it is at the ritz charles in carmel oh, very nice very fancy and we're just thrilled because this is the uh, the event where we feature the year's most amazing pet survivor and adoption stories uh, we'll do a great presentation everything orchestrated to music and actually we have special guests coming out this time uh, the smiling morning show glee club will be performing <laughs> well i'm and familiar with that uh, particular particular group and they're excellent they are fantastic so we're really good. we're good and we're very excited to have them come they're going to sing to the presentation part of it and of course we'll have some very special uh, furry guests who will make an appearance as well so fantastic event once Oliver was lost the chill settled in how will you tell your daughter will she ever hear his paws dance in the hall again is he even okay 
Thankfully, Invisible Fence Brand has kept over 2 million tails wagging happily and safely in their yards and nowhere else. No running into traffic, no upset neighbors, just pure freedom for you and your dog. For a special limited time offer, visit InvisibleFence.com slash TV. Don't call me a pet owner. I'm a lot more than that. I'm a coach, a companion, a parent, and a friend. I have to make choices for my dog that he can't make for himself. I like to ensure that he has the best quality of life possible. So I choose Holistic Select. Holistic Select, pet food for the pet wise parent. Made in Mishawaka, Indiana. Holistic Select is available at pet specialty retailers. To learn more, visit HolisticSelect.com. To celebrate the success of the Paul and Tom Internet Radio Show, we've built a brand new set. Paul, I don't see a set. <laughs> don't you worry. We'll fix that in post. Visit paulandtomshow.com. I'll prove it doesn't work. Okie dokie. Now loosen up, mm -hmm. empty your mind, done, and picture your goal. Okay. See her eyes, blue, no, brown, deep brown, short, tall, slender, bound. Mm. Come on, feel it hard. Mm -hmm. Now with extra yeah. added bonus, feel it. Come feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it. Open your eyes. Oh. Penguins. They're Penguins. Not, they're not really good pets. But, no. But they're smelly. Have you encountered one in real life? No. They smell like fish, not surprisingly. I understand that. Yeah. But that smells good to the other penguins. I suppose so. It's like nice cologne to them, yeah. <laughs> okay. People recognize you from The Simpsons a lot, your voice? Somewhat. They don't usually hear me and say, oh, that's a Simpsons guy, because I'm not usually making a Simpsons voice in public. I don't go to the Starbucks and say, yeah, let me have a decaf soy latte there. I don't really do that. I guess if I did, maybe they would. But um, And you get a free coffee. I might. Yeah, you should try that. Um, I might try it. Yeah. I, I, I do get recognized now that we've been at it for 23 years. Wow. You know, in the last, like, five, ten years. Hey, you're the Simpsons guy. <laughs> yeah. Where's this going to go? <laughs> do you like penguins? I do like penguins. Do you ever meet How one can you not like I know, penguins. but they're so cute. They're adorable. I've met penguins, I have. I um, actually met penguins at the San Diego Zoo and got to spend a bit of time with them. They're extraordinary animals. They're very sweet. The Nate, they actually do have a connection with people. I, I think you, you don't anticipate that because they're birds and um, <laughs> you'd think that they'd sort of stick to themselves, but they're, they, they are, I wouldn't say tame, but they're quite friendly. Uh -huh. Two, three. We actually recorded a majority of this film as a, as a full cast okay. in Australia in one room. And that's very unique. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes with animation, you'll be in a, a studio by yourself. It, it's dependent on when actors are available. And, yep. and for this, we all got together, which makes a huge difference when well, you have other actors to play off of. You're a lucky man. I am, indeed. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> oh, it's feeding time. I think they dress for dinner. Maybe that's why they're all uh, oh. normal like this. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? What are you doing for lunch today? Fish. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Come on out to the Indianapolis Zoo and you can see the penguins, the live penguins in action. It's a great time. They're so cute. You just want to squeeze them. And Happy Feet 2 right. is in uh, theaters also. Happy to take you behind the scenes this week on Pet Pal. Uh, Papa said knock them out. Yeah, I'm going to knock them out. Papa said knock them out. Come on. You're calling to come back. Yeah. I've been here for years. Rocking my pills, putting suckers in fear. I'm going to take this itty bitty world by storm. And I'm just in war. Ha! <laughs> <laughs>